How would you like to create Facebook ads that actually get real estate leads? Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, with Facebook ads, unfortunately, there isn't a one size fits all approach. However, you are able to try on multiple sizes before you make your final selection. So today, we'll create a Facebook ad and split test it in order to maximize the number of real estate leads we can generate. Let's begin. Hey, you time it. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, what's your go-to Facebook ad? Let me know in the comment section down below. Today we're running a just listed Facebook ad campaign. You run this type of campaign when you just list a property. Makes sense, right? As a reminder, if you're looking for high performing Facebook ads, just like the one you're about to see today, please be sure to check out my course, Facebook Ads Mastery for Real Estate Leads. Now, before you launch your Facebook ad, you wanna consider what is your lead magnet going to be? In the just listed campaign we're about to run, the lead magnet is the property information. Now, the second thing to consider is how are you going to deliver that lead magnet? Are you gonna be using landing pages, squeeze pages, single property websites? Are you gonna be emailing the information? Just taking that into consideration, the delivery of what you're promising, i.e. the delivery of the lead magnet. And lastly, you're gonna select the type of campaign. Are you gonna be using a traffic campaign, a lead campaign, a messages campaign, a conversion campaign? There's many types of Facebook ad campaigns to select from. And it's important to know the differences between the types of campaigns as their objective is different, but also the functionality is different as well. You don't wanna spend hours creating the perfect landing page only to run a lead generation campaign which doesn't even use landing pages. Now as a reminder, we're split testing this Facebook ad campaign to identify those ads that are gonna deliver the highest ROI return on investment. All right, so let's get some leads. We are here at the ads manager. We are running a housing ad, so we do need to call that out. As a reminder, if you're running a credit, housing, and employment type of ad, then you do have to do the special ad category. No way around it. The type of ad that we're gonna run today is a lead generation campaign. So we're gonna do lead and just listed campaign. We're not gonna optimized from the campaign level we're going to be split testing but we are not going to be optimizing from the budget level so i'll show you what that looks like in a few seconds lead just listed all right so we'll be using that page we're not doing dynamic creative we're not doing any custom audiences for this particular go around we do want to target people who live in this particular location. So we'll go with Providence Village right here. All right, 15 miles is the lowest radius, so the smallest radius that we can get to. Everything else is going to stay the same. Languages we're not going to bother with. Detail targeting, we are going to leave this one blank. We're going to go with no interest for this ad. And then on the split test, we'll add some audiences. How about that? All right, so we'll, we'll leave this blank for now, the targeting. We will edit our placements. So we'll remove that. We'll only go after the newsfeed in this particular campaign. All right, we want all the mobile devices. Everything else looks good. We're optimizing for leads. We don't have a cost control in place yet. We're gonna spend $5 in this particular ad set. Everything else looks good. And ad set may get zero leads. That I can guarantee you that it's not gonna get zero leads. So we're gonna continue. It says that just because it, um, it does. I really don't know why it would say that. But just know that it will, it, whenever you're running ads, if you remove targeting, if you get too hyper local with um, some interest, it's going to show that, but trust that the ad copies that you're using, they're going to work. Well, let me rephrase that. 
the ad copies that I'm using here are gonna work. I don't necessarily know which ad copy you're using. So if you're wise, you're gonna you're gonna use the ones that you're seeing on the screen. All right, we're gonna do single image. Clear that. Clear that. Add an image. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. Right here, continue. See what that looks like. That'll that'll be okay, but let's see. So the square, the original, horizontal, move that up. Square, move it over just a bit. All right, so we'll save it. See what that looks like. It's what it's going to look like on the mobile news feed, the desktop. It looks good. All right, now the ad copy we're going to use is a just listed ad copy. Okay, headline just listed will not last all right we're gonna go to learn more we're gonna make a new form we're gonna call this cambridge we're gonna go to the settings we're gonna open this up so when you see sharing, your ad can be shared and anyone can submit this form. So it's a good idea to leave it open in case some of your friends, family, or somebody that knows you sees the ad so they can share it. It's a way to get some free traffic. We're going to leave it with more volume versus a higher intent. All right. Provident. Just listed in Provident Village. All right, we're going to use the same image. Will not last. Actually, let's do something real quick. Let's get the MLS information and put it in here. All right, questions. We're going to delete the full name. I'm only going to ask for the first name. First name, uh, phone number, move this up. First name, email, phone number, that's what we're asking for. Okay, now you see the form that we just created. And then learn more by providing your info below. That will be fine. Privacy policy, gonna go to my website. Um, bum, bum, privacy policy. Copy this. URL. Privacy policy. Thank you, screen. Thanks, you're all set. And now what we're going to put is, all right, view website. We're just going to link them up to my website. Right there. View properties. Paste. Are right, we going to save it? Finish. Okay, we're going to scroll down. Now we're going to confirm. Now we're about to split test, but a quick reminder. If you're doing some automations, meaning if you're taking the leads and importing them into your CRM, it's at this point that you want to create that connection. So if you're using Zapier or you're using a CRM that automatically connects with Facebook, then you do want to have that integration already set up before you split test. So for me, it's not going to matter too much because I'm going to be able to split test everything and I'm waiting for one quick thing to get updated on Zapier before I can actually make the connections, but that's more on my end, just giving you a heads up. So if you're gonna do some automations, it, I encourage you to do that before you start uh, 
the split testing and creating different campaigns because it's gonna be double, triple, quadruple your work depending on how you're integrating the two. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this. So we're gonna duplicate it. And since I'm split testing from the campaign level, I might as well just add the uh, the ad set in between. So I'll go ahead and do that. This one is going to be the copy. And I think, let's see, who do we want to target here? We want to target uh, third party websites. Okay, as an interest. So I'm going to copy that. Everything else looks fine. Going to go to the ad set. Paste that, third party websites. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna leave $5, that's okay. And where we're going is right here in the detail targeting. I'm gonna narrow it down just a little bit. I'm gonna go to the top two, go to Zillow as an interest. And then I'm gonna add an additional filter, narrow the audience a bit, and go with Trulia. All right. Actually, since I'm not adding all of them, then I'll just do Zillow. Zillow Trulia. Just listed. So copy that. All right. Everything else is going to stay the same. Remember, when you're split testing, you only want to move one of the variables. Don't do two variables because whether it works or doesn't work, you're not going to know what ended up happening with um, if you adjusted an image and the audience, you're not going to know if it was the image or the audience that made the increase or the downfall of the ad. So there you go. I'm going to publish that. All right. So I'm going to reduce that and go over here. I'm going to edit the name just real quick to the original one. No interest. All right, so publish that. Now I'm gonna come back, oops. Now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna duplicate this right here. All right, um, who do we want to target? Who do we want to target? Let's target renters as an interest. This is not the demographics. Remember, you're running a special ad, uh, special ad, so you're limited in your targeting. So in the past, you were able to target renters as a demographic, meaning that they were actual renters. But here, it's renters the interest. So that's different. All right, so we're going to go lead renters. Um, go scroll down, scroll down. And here we go. Renting. All right, so we'll leave that how it is. I'm gonna go to the ad. Publish. All right, now let's go back and start mining for some additional interest that may be of interest. Uh, we're gonna go here. Duplicate it one more time. So I'm going to allocate $20 per day in this particular campaign. I don't know what we're going to use quite yet. So I'm going to go to the ad set and start looking for some interests. Let's see. I may end up doing the rest of the third party websites, but I'm not sure. Let's see. I'll suggest I'll go with Zillow and then I'll look at the suggestions. So we have homes.com. I didn't select that. House hunting. Let me see if I can move myself. All right. House hunting. Where did that go? House hunting, 16 million. That's way more than, that's more than Trulia. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go for house hunting most likely. First time buyer. All right, so I lied. I'm gonna do two more interests. We're gonna do, that's not sizable enough. 
we're going to go with house hunting, and then we're going to go with first time buyer. So we're going to allocate 25 bucks for this campaign. All right, so let's start labeling them appropriately. Oh, that didn't take. Now, one more time, we're going to come back here and we're going to duplicate. Now look and pay close attention to the campaign side. We are duplicating this from the campaign level. In the past, you've seen me do that from the ad set level, but I'm getting away from that habit as Facebook is no longer going to allow that. All right. Um, what was it? We just did renters, no interest, house hunting. Um, wow, I'm spacing out. What was that? House hunting. It was first time home buyer, right? Let's just make sure. First time home buyer. Okay. Our campaigns are ready. Well, this is how you create a Facebook ad for real estate leads. If you found value in this video, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.